today we're going to be taking a look at the highly anticipated Air Jordan 2 J Balvin. And I made sure that I pulled out my J Balvin ones for you guys for a couple comparisons as well because there's actually a lot of similarities. I know it may not seem like it, but there are. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys dope reviews like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So let's go ahead and get started with this box first. As you can see right here, this is a very interesting box, but the overall basic function of the box is similar to the OG Air Jordan 2 box from way back in the day with the wings on the side, except for it just has a different print. So it doesn't look like it, but that still has that same configuration. And that's a nice little touch that I really like giving homage to the OG Air Jordan 2 and the box that that came in. Now on the other aspects, when it comes to the coloring and the design patterns that we see on top of the box, you're gonna have this all over pink tone. And this is actually gonna be a brain print that you see right here. And then you have your green lightning bolts on both sides right here. On the back end of the box right here, not too much going on. And then on the front end right here, you got your Air Jordan branding. And I call this kind of that chicken scratch when it comes to it, just kind of scribbled on right there, a nice little touch. And then going to the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 2 Retro SP, time blue multicolor size 13 just for me and retail 300 bucks and don't worry we'll talk about the retail price a little bit later in the video and why we justify it or may not or whatever it may be we'll get into that in a bit now let's crack open this box lifting up the lid right here you have your all over print with the clouds the j balvin smiley face with the lightning bolts and your air jordan Jumpman logo as well peeling back that you got your white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay first impressions of this sneaker yeah, man. They did a solid job, I ain't gonna lie. The materials, the mixtures, the colors, everything like that. I'm gonna have to see how these go when it comes to the glow in the dark aspect with the outsole and everything. But overall, definitely a nice shoe and a good collaboration. Now, before we get to breaking down all the styles, cuts, materials, and details of this sneaker, we gotta talk about the history first. For those that don't know, J Balvin is a famous reggaeton artist. And I'm telling you right now, he had an opportunity of a lifetime. And the crazy thing how this all came about is, he ended up sitting in a meeting one time with Jordan. He was at a dinner or something like that. Next thing you know, they were vibing and he was literally just talking with MJ. And then he was like, you know what? We need to make a shoe. Next thing you know, he calls in a call and now he's got collaborations on the line. And now he's an official Jordan brand artist, which is crazy. So for his first collaboration, we saw the J Balvin Air Jordan 1s. There was definitely a lot of hype behind this sneaker. And then next thing you know, the prices started to slowly go down and they started to settle. People were like, oh, this is easily gonna be over a thousand dollar shoe. And then the price kind of went down, went down, went down. Now it's kind of like five, 600 bucks, which is again, still a lot of money for a pair of shoes. Don't get me wrong. But I think the hype kind of died a little bit simply because of the functionality of the shoe. It's kind of hard to wear with a lot of different things, which makes me very interested when it comes to this pair in particular, because I think a lot more people just might like these, even though it's a Jordan 2, but the colorway makes it a little bit easier to rock. We'll get into that later in the video as well. So this pair came out a couple years ago and obviously has a wild print, materials, textures, all those different things. But as you can see, it has the same kind of vibes with the smiley face and the lightning bolts on the eyes and the rainbow print all throughout the upper also kind of giving you that thermal print as well and we're definitely going to see some of those similar design aspects integrated here on the air jordan 2 so let's go ahead and start breaking this one down starting with the bottom of the shoe you have your classic air jordan 2 outsole white right here on the back end with the nike branding and then this area is more of a translucent blue but one cool aspect that i'm not sure everybody knows about i think they do this whole blue area actually glows in the dark hopefully that b-roll gives you guys a good example of what it looks like but i think that's a very dope touch anytime we have the opportunity to have a glow in the dark outsole or other additions to the shoes whether it may be hang tags or laces or you name it all the little trinkets that come along with it sneakerheads typically like those things now working our way up the foot you have an all white air jordan 2 midsole and then onto the upper oh the upper there's definitely a lot of materials on here you got satins and nubucks and rip stops and plastics and you name it there's a bunch of different mixtures of materials but i think they did so good when it comes to putting this shoe together so let's start with the back end first as you can see right here you have your classic air jordan 2 plastic wrap around around the heel area and then you got your little ridges right here and behind that you're gonna have that cloud print that goes throughout and then you have that same smiley face with the lightning bolt eyes the eyes on this one are pink on the right foot pink on the left foot and just above that you're gonna have a new buck tab with the white nike branding printed on there and then going to the side of the foot this is where we have that rip stop material so for some of those that don't know or may not be too familiar if you ever remember that off-white air jordan 5 i think that's the best example because a lot of people have seen that model and understand that material 
it's gonna be similar as that when it comes to the ripstop material. So you're gonna have that same vibe right here on the back end, and then you have a rainbow stitch that goes all throughout that with a little bit of a puff behind each area of the shoe, giving it a little bit more texture as you touch the shoe and see the shoe from that visual aspect as well. Now going to the mud guard in the vamp area around the front end of the foot, you're gonna have that new buck all wrapped around there with that same rainbow stitch as you can see on the front end right here. Both sides with the detail shots look really, really nice. I think they did a good job. These come equipped with a pair of white laces and on the tip you have pink right here and then you have more of a mint green and then that similar blue to the upper right here. Now on the mint green pair you have a pink tip and then on the blue pair, you have green tips on those. Now working our way up the tongue, this is one of the pieces that a lot of people love about this sneaker. Yes, it may be corny. Yes, we may see this on sneakers at Payless or Skechers, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, when you ever have a light up aspect on a shoe, you can't be mad at it because it's a nice cool addition to the sneaker. Now there are a couple problems with that. We'll get into that in a second. Now on the tongue area, you have a white Air Jordan Wings logo with the rubber. And just behind that, you're gonna actually have a light that pops up behind it in a green color and then on the back end of the tongue you'll be able to see what I'm talking about right here it's got a lightning bolt and then you have like a charging symbol just below that so you push on that and then that will turn on the light and then as you can see right here the light is going now if you push it again it'll kind of strobe in and out fade in and out and then if you push it one more time the light will actually turn off so there's essentially like two settings and then the third button is just turning it off so that'll kind of give you a good look at it and i'll show you guys some b-roll clips as well so you understand what i'm talking about but that's very dope but the problem is there's no like way to access the battery or the light or anything like that so say you have this sneaker in your collection 10 years from now and you may have worn the shoes and then you thought oh they'll be good you know the battery still works da, da, da. and then it doesn't work now the light's not gonna work x amount of time from now so it's kind of hard to say like all right i'm paying 300 dollars retail for a pair of shoes yet that has a light and all the cool aspects that's great but I can't even like charge the shoes or even find a way to replace the light if I wanted to because there's no way to like slip into the insert of the tongue or anything like that. So for a sneakerhead, that's something that sucks because you're like, bro, I literally got the shoes. This is great. It has all the cool stuff, but I can't even change the light or fix it or switch the battery out years from now. Because what happens if you wear the shoes and you're out and about and you're having a good time and you forget to turn the light off and the next thing you know, the battery is just like dead forever. Like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? So I think enjoy it while you have it. Yes, that's a great thing, but good luck to all of those. I'm interested to see years from now whose pair is still able to light up and how they were able to do that if they had to unstitch the tongue and re-put it back in and all that. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. Again, I'm rambling off about that, but it does kind of suck because that's something that, you know, we would want to have saying that we had to pay the extra money to get that other aspect to the shoe. So anyways, back to what I was talking about, the sock liner. So behind the shoe in the sock liner area, you're gonna have that satin material with the clouds, just like you see on the back end around the heel or other aspects like you've seen on his merch and different things like that. And then on the insole right here, you're gonna have the clouds with the Air Jordan logo with that chicken scratch on the right foot and the same thing right here on the left foot. And those are gonna be all your main details and aspects of uh, of this shoe right here. I'm interested to see what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is gonna be one of the most hyped up, one of the most talked about, one of the most appreciated collaborations of this year. You know, you got Travis Scott and Off-White and other things like that, but I think when it comes to, you know, the Jordan collaborations, these are definitely gonna be top on a lot of people's lists. A lot of people are gonna like these. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I'm definitely very interested. And like always, I always do a poll on my Instagram so we can check out the results, what everybody else is thinking as well. And then I'll post the results here on the channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so that way you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. I ask the people a simple question. Is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. 68% of the people said fire and 32% of the people said trash. And I think those results are a little bit lower than what I thought. I was thinking it was probably gonna be somewhere around 80, 20, maybe like 85, 15, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if those results 
are good accurate representation of you know what the whole community is thinking and how everybody else feels about the shoe i get it it's definitely still kind of a wild sneaker but at the same time pretty subtle uh if you see it from far away it just kind of looks like a light blue sneaker and as you get closer to the shoe you start to see and appreciate all the details and the other little nuances that come along with the shoe so i don't know there's a bunch of different ways to look at it for me personally i think this is a great shoe i'm excited to have this shoe i got these off of sneakers app it took forever for my shoes to come in the mail i don't know why it took so long but either way i ended up hitting on sneakers i got them for retail at 300 bucks and that's where we talk about the resale prices so the sneaker is barely selling over that 300 price point and i think it makes sense yes the collaboration is dope and all those other things but people had to pay 300 dollars retail now for a jordan 2 in my head i would assume like 180 bucks 200 bucks retail that's cool now i get it they add the other things okay 225 250 something like that and i saw the 300 i was like damn bro that's kind of high so that kind of comes i think into a lot of other sneakerheads mindset and they're like bro do i even want to buy this shoe that's like paying resale for the sneaker but i'm buying it for retail and then when you're trying to resell the sneaker it's like there's no way you're going to just be able to upcharge a air jordan 2 <laughs> a air jordan 2 for you know five six seven eight hundred nine hundred thousand dollars right so i completely understand that aspect again yes i get it if the shoe's gonna flip for a little bit more because you know you made it missed out and you got to pay somebody else for helping out and getting the shoe and all this stuff i understand all those things but i think jordan brand made a great decision because they sold out on the sneaker they sold it at that resale price point but they sold it for retail to the public so they basically made that resale money that somebody else would have made if they were to buy the shoe for you know 225 and sell it for you know 325 or something like that so i don't know it's very interesting how it's being played we're seeing retail price points go up on a lot of different sneakers i mean dunks nike air force ones you name it like regular basic stuff is going up in price too so it's interesting to see how everything is kind of playing out and unfolding with the game and all the other stuff but either ways we can talk about that in a whole nother video let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section what do you guys plan to see from j oh man what would a j balvin air jordan 4 look like we know the Jordan 4 model is hot right now. I wonder what model he would do next. Let me know what model you think he would do next down below in the comment section. He did the ones, he did the twos. Maybe three is next up on the line. I don't know, we shall see. Let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all in another one. I appreciate y'all for always tuning in. Oh yeah, and if you need the got em tees, uh, those will be coming soon. Make sure you check out for more information on the community tab. I'll post some more stuff giving you guys updates. The shirts are coming soon. I'll see y'all later. All right y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges so all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section that will get you set up and into the community i'm excited to see you guys on the inside if you made it to the end of this video drop a comment down below and let me know which sneaker would you pick the air jordan 1 or the air jordan 2 i'm interested to see what y'all think low key i think i might still go with it